Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up the splash screen and icons in your Ionic application with Capacitor version 7. Also, if you have faced some issues with the splash screen not showing up in Android devices, definitely we are going to fix that up in this particular video. So let's get started. In order to use the splash screen and icons in your application, what you have to do? Well, you have to install the assets and before doing anything, you have to install the splash screen. So I already have a project created here. To create a project, you can simply run the command ionic start, then the project name, let's say any name, then blank if you want to create a blank project. And the type of the project can be Angular in our case. And go with that. You can select standalone and ng module, whichever approach you want to go for. Now I have already installed this splash screen. And after installing this splash screen, you just basically you have to run the first command. Don't run the second command as of now until and unless you have the Android and iOS platform set up. After doing that, we have to do certain configuration in the Android. We are going to see that later on because this is very, very handy. Now, after that, you can use some functionality with this splash screen. We are going to see how exactly we can work around with that. But before that, I would like to show you what configuration we can do in our capacitor.config.ts file. So if you just scroll down, you see a lot of features are being given that you can simply pass. All right. So what have I done? I am into the capacitor.config.ts file in which I have prepared the, look at this, the splash screen where show launch show duration, I have set it to zero, which is very, very important because I'm not going to configure anything from here. We are going to show the splash screen directly from our app.component.ts file and I'm going to show you how right now. If I go to app.component.ts file, if you're using Angular 20 plus, uh, you might get app.ts file here instead of app.component.ts. So don't worry, it's the same file, just .component will be removed. So here in the constructor, I'm passing a function show splash. Now in this show splash, what you have to do? You have to pass splash screen dot show function in which you are showing the splash screen for three seconds this is in milliseconds that you are passing and auto hide is set to true this is the same functionality that you see at the top when we were looking at the functionality of splash screen this is the one all right so that is what i have applied and this is very very important to show the splash screen for three seconds and then it will be gone and pass it in the constructor make sure you pass it otherwise this will not work Forget about the extra code that we have here because this is a project which is up and running. I just wanted to show you what exact things you need to do to tackle this problem. Now, after you have done this configuration part and everything here, you have to prepare what? You have to prepare an assets folder. If you go to capacitor documentation in the docs, if you just scroll down, you will find splash screen and icons because you have to generate the icons and splash screen for your application, right? And for that, it is written here, you have to create a assets folder within which you have to have all these files. So I'm having the same file for icons everywhere, but just the name is different. Same for splash too. Now what changes I have made, if, uh, if before going to that, I would like to show you one more thing that icon size should be 1024 into 1024 pixels and splash screen size should be 2732 into 2732 pixels. And the format can be JPEG or PNG. So make sure you have this same dimension so that you don't fall into any kind of a trouble. So design that up. I have done that. Now, if you just check this out, this is the icon which is being built and it is of the same size that is being shown there. All right. So I have prepared the assets folder. Now, once the assets folder is ready, what I have to do, I have to run the command. If everything is fine, like if the project is ready, I'll run the command ionic build. Because if you run this thing directly, you can install it. Okay. Assets like to create the assets. You can install it up before running ionic build also if you want to. So before running ionic build, if you run this command, it is going to install at capacitor slash assets. But don't run the next command, which is to generate because we have to generate for Android, iOS and everything. And we have to set up all the platforms at first. So I'm going to remove it because it's already being done in my system, I'll just show you the execution. That's it. So I will run ionic build. And if you hit enter, you will get a www folder created. This is the first step. After you create the www folder, 
Then you go for creating or adding the platform for Android and iOS like Anycap, add iOS, hit enter and it's going to add the iOS platform like we have here the iOS folder. After doing that, the next step is to Anycap, add Android and hit enter. This will create the Android folder. All right. So once those things are created, you are good to go and you can generate the icons for each and every one and how you can do that well there is a command to do so this is the command that you need to run and before running this command like if you have any changes in your code then you can run the command which we have seen earlier like npx cap sync where was it npx cap sync or you can run ionic cap sync to sync your project means you're making changes in your application so you want to sync that up for android ios pwa all the platforms will be integrated with the latest changes that you're working with all right so which is very very handy for syncing purpose after syncing is done then you can simply go for this not this command the generate command so generate command is which one you have to copy this generate command because if you want to generate for android ios pwa all of them then go for it if you want to go for a specific platform then just add hyphen hyphen iOS with a space before that. Then it's going to generate the icons and splash for that particular platform only. All right. So you just have to run this command, hit enter and go for it. I have already done that. Now, after doing that, what will happen in your Android and iOS everywhere? Things will be set. I'll show you. So in the Android, if you go to app, SRC, then main in the rest folder, you will find all the icons and splash screens set up this is the splash look at this it is already set up now if you don't find the proper sizes then there is another thing which you can work with i'll show you right now so this look at this drawable everywhere it is set so in this particular manner you can simply set it up now if the sizes do not match you can go just search for image gorilla now to generate all of this, if the size does, does not match properly, then you have to go to your browser and search for Ape Tools. If you search for that, you will find one Ape Tool website in which you have to pass just your icon and splash screen. Okay, if I click on generate, select your icon, the sizes are being given here. So sizes for icon and splash screen are different here. Okay, 1024 into 1024 is for the icon. It is the same. But for the splash screen, you have to generate or you have to pass this particular size. But if you don't want, you can pass your uh, earlier size also and try if it works or not. So if you just go for it, it is going to do what? Let me just show you. Let me select anything here for the time being, just without any proper sizes also. Now, which one do I need to generate? I can go for Android directly. So include in bundle, this will be generated. And if you hit on Kapow, it will generate seven icons and 14 splash screen sizes. If you want for iOS also along with it, then definitely you can go for that. It will generate 14 icons for iOS and 26 splash screens along with it. If you just click on it, it's going to get downloaded in a zip file and you will find the splash screen sizes there. You have to match with the drawable double X HD PI, triple X HD PI, you just have to match all of this properly with the sizing, whatever is being given here and simply replace this file with the same name. So don't mess up with the name. Otherwise, you will find trouble later on because you have to change it everywhere if you do so. So I hope you can do that easily. After that is done, what next you have to take care of? Well, if you just scroll down, you will find values folder. You have to go to strings.xml. Not exactly. You have to go to styles.xml. Now in the styles, what you have to do, it's written here in the splash screen about this particular changes. Okay. Now what happens is if I just scroll down, look at this. It was there by default. I commented it out. Why? Because I wanted a background color for my splash screen, which was not coming up directly. So I have passed here a background color, which I need, which is related to my theme of this application. So that's how you can make the changes. And here the parent is changed, theme dot splash screen is changed to app theme dot no action bar. That is what it is given here, right? And everything is same except the color which I have passed. All right. And commenting the earlier thing. That's the only thing which I have done in this particular file that will make sure that I pass proper background and everything. 
otherwise the background color will not be implemented got it so this is one of the issues that most of you might have faced with the splash screen if it is circular the splash screen then you won't be able to see the background color so if you want that background color to be shown then you can just work on it all right now once that is done then it is quite sure that it will work in the android manifest.xml file well you don't have to do a lot of thing if something doesn't work then you simply pass these tools that's the only thing you need to do so apart from that everything is good to go what next well for ios everything is already set up if you want to do some changes definitely you have to go to xcode and try it out now i'll run this application because i don't have to sync any code along with it so let's go for ionic cap open ios now the xcode is opened up it is setting up meanwhile i'll open android also and android studio is about to open meanwhile you need to make sure that you have all the latest version of xcode and android studio so that you don't miss out on anything and find yourself in some trouble now let's check out in the xcode meanwhile it is being prepared if i double click on it i'll get all these things but if i just hit the arrow i will be able to navigate to assets if i click on it see i get splash screen and icons all right so splash screen are generated if you don't find any sizes properly then you can just drag and drop here the sizes whichever you have got by downloading it up from app tools similarly for the icon this is the icon so that's how you can work around with it okay for the android studio well what you can do we already have the icons and everything we have already seen the folder so we don't have to worry about it now i can simply hit the run button to check it out if it works or not so let's wait for it to complete then we will check for ios also the setup is easy but you need to make sure you don't land in any kind of a trouble see the icon is coming up and then the splash screen is coming up this is important and this is our application so this is my construct kit application if you are working on a construction site and you want to manage everything as an admin as a construction site manager or an engineer or you have some warehouse where you have some inventory and everything all of them can be managed through this application with different different logins and everything it is available in my website go and check that out if you want to buy it it's a very cool application you can manage a lot of things here with date filters and everything i'll just give you a small hint you can change the dates let me just show you the data once all right date selected and click on filter and you get the data so that's how things will work okay similarly for worksheet also you can get the worksheet by changing the date and hitting on apply there you go so different rule has different functionality so you need to be very careful how exactly it works all right and stock management can be done from here itself whether it's on site or from the warehouse so this is the stuff now this is working for icon and splash screen it's time to get back to ios and try it out so i'm going to go for 16 pro max let's go for that and hit the play button the application is about to open and you see okay this is for the notification but you see the splash screen was showing up all right the splash screen is showing up this is the login screen and if i just close it up this is the button which i can use so let's go to home and you see the icon also coming up so that's how it works and if you want to see the icon here too well if i minimize this is the icon for the construct kit so that's how it is working now you have seen it clearly that the splash screen and the icons both are showing in android and ios everything working perfectly fine no issues at all so this is how you can work around with the icon and splash screen in your ionic application with capacitor version 7 or even above with the changes that i have shown if you go through the same changes you will be able to achieve the result that i have shown you be sure that you are passing all of it whatever i have done not exactly the same but launch duration should be zero and you are changing the duration from app.component.ts file got it so this is it for this lecture if you like the video make sure you hit the like button do subscribe to the channel if you are new let me know in the comment section what you guys are looking for for the upcoming videos with that being said i'm going to wrap up for the day thank you so much for watching i'm going to see you next time